お前はもう死んでいる何プシッ Nothing personnel kid Who is the best team leader? Uh, it's Kurotobi Okay, but you might be asking why him? As a jumping off point, let's look at the other top tier leaders. But before that, it's important to understand that these tier lists should be taken with a grain of salt, as they are entirely dependent on what you have in your monster box. Also, these are Japanese tier lists and might take into consideration JP exclusive units. The reason for using Japanese tier lists is because they give us NA players a good idea of what leaders are relevant or will remain relevant for the foreseeable future. And this time window is about three months. Since unit availability is extremely important, let's look at which leaders are more flexible when it comes to team building. For Daywolf and Royal Nautilus, you can use any units as long as you meet their rarity requirements. For the Remda Trio, any machine or dragon units apply. For New York Feral and Aggregate, you can technically fit any subs. And for Kurotobi and Granar teams, you just need to use any blue unit. In the case of Daywolf, you might have found yourself struggling to meet HP requirements without having Patty, Ryome, Aran, or any other high HP sub. With Aggregate, you might only have one copy when you need at least two or three copies to make a decent team. Or again, you might not have Patty. And the same applies for New Year Feral. If you don't have any of these optimal subs, you have to explore whether you have any decent replacements in your monster box. But it will be very challenging to substitute Patty, and it's almost impossible to substitute a New Year Feral or two more aggregates to run a system. Kuro, Toby, and Remda teams have way more flexibility since there are equips that can add machine type or dragon type or change a unit of attribute to water. Unfortunately, we are missing about half the equips that add machine subtype, and we are also missing widely used subs from the Gundam code app. Therefore, for NA, I would argue team building for Remda teams is not as flexible as it might seem at first. But don't get me wrong, the Remda trio is still a very capable leader if you can build around it. For Kuro Tobi teams, there are many blue sub attribute change equips, and many of the widely used subs are not JP exclusives. Thus, Kurotobi wins in my book when it comes to team flexibility. But again, this all depends on what you have in your monster box. Another important thing to keep in mind is damage reduction and bulkiness. As they will became more widely used, Gongho has introduced some nasty gravities in dungeons to counteract Daywolf's raw HP multiplier. A simple 100% gravity forces Daywolf teams to include a shield somewhere in the team. On the other end of the spectrum, we have leaders with high damage reduction shields in their leader skills. But the downside with these teams is that they struggle to survive raw HP checks in endgame dungeons. Therefore, a mixture of both HP multipliers and damage reduction will work wonders and allow for more flexibility. You might not need to include a high damage reduction shield as a sub active or equip. As an example, in UN5, you will need to carry an 80% or higher damage reduction shield with Daywolf since there is a 450% gravity attack. But with a Kurotobi and Granerb team, you can handle up to a 649% gravity attack. And with Granerb's 3.5 HP multiplier, you will have enough HP to survive raw HP checks without shields. The highest HP check right now is found in old UN2, and it will soon be found in old UN3. So right now Kurotobi looks great, but will he remain as the top leader for the foreseeable future? There are only a few mechanics I can think of that Gonho could implement to dissuade people from running Kurotobi, such as having a dungeon with high HP and high defense green spawns, or spawns that constantly change your board to full heal, dark, or water, or a combination of the two, since Kurotobi cannot spawn orbs over those colors, and you might die without activating your damage reduction leader skill. Or maybe a dungeon with constant RCB debuffs. A dungeon full of these mechanics 
seems unlikely, but who knows what Gongho will do. All that I know right now is that Kuro Tobi stands on match as the top team leader for the foreseeable future.